Greetings everyone and welcome back to Pacific Drive and look at our beautiful vehicle Sandstars. I have seen so many comments that are so desperately unhappy at the lack of stars. Look, okay, we're going to do one drive without them and then maybe, maybe we will put them back. Probably we will put them back. But for now, we're going to go without. Though uh, I just loaded in and I noticed there is a beep 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 over here. What are we, what are we got? Yes, you're right. This wall exists to stop people from getting in. But, by God, I hope it also stops those things from getting out. I see very well. All right, but uh, we had a couple of peeps chiming in and regarding what the quirk might be. Uh, one thing requested was to open the back door. Right, okay, yep. That absolutely just did happen, didn't it? Okay, we've got a backdoor radio thing. Yep. Okay, you close. What? Did the door just come off? Uh. Why did the door just come off? Why on earth did the door just come off? Ah. Uh. Right, let me pop the radio on. Yep, the door just came off again. Hmm. Okay. Is this a case of... Will the door come off if I get out right now? I can hear a boop beep. No, it might just be... When that was... Uh, open and I get out of the door there. Okay, that didn't do anything to the radio. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Let's leave these open for a second. But yes, we had a couple of folks suggesting that there might be something going on with regards to the radio and the doors. But let me see if there's anything that we can find on the Tinker Station. We're going to start off with this. So let's have a look at... Um, rear left door. No, uh, yes. Rear left door is... Oops. Uh, rear left door is closed. And radio something. Toggles channel change. Let's see. Yeah, sure. We'll diagnose this one. We'll see if we get anything from this. Any hits? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So radio and rear left door, completely nothing there. All right, another one that was mentioned is that my lights might still be going a bit awry. Let's get on in. What's that beep beep? I swear there's something going on there. What is that beep beep? Where's it come from? Oh, another thing I needed to do. Thank you very much for this, by the way. I would like to change this ability to the Limpulse Emitter. Apparently, this is this is a car ability. Thank you very much for the comment, because I wasn't aware of that. Uh, this is not a plan. It's a carefully calibrated device. Yes, I would like to put that on F. Now I can uh, activate that when it need be. Right, uh, let's see. Volume is relatively good. Let's uh, turn off the radio for now, though. Okay, everything else seems okay, but what is that beep beep that keeps going on? Right, we've gone out now. Is it something to do with this, perhaps? Let me just see if I get in. Okay, no beep beep this time. Interesting. All right. Let's turn on the lights. Will the lights dim? It was pointed out that the lights might still dim if I turn the wheel enough. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, I'm alright with that then. I'm fine with it for now. Alright. We can try another couple of gases though. Uh... Let's see, battery and a built dashboard, every car door is open, oh, every car door is open or closed, any car door 
is closed. Something to do... Well, it's not the radio. We know that. Uh, we could have a look at... Any tire trunk wipers? Trunk? Oh, I guess. Open or closes. Um, let's see. Well, radio is not a good guess. But it wasn't a good guess over here. Interestingly. Uh, we could try... Uh, dashboard, compass fails, flickers, switches on faster, switches on slower, speedometer fails, fuel gauge fails. Well, just pick something and see if this goes anywhere. I'm not going to spend too much time just blind guessing. No, that was nothing. Uh, is there anything else I really want to try? We can try radio over on this side. Radio switches on. And let's go with shifter, some toggles. I'm just going for things that might... Uh, oh. Shifter, toggles. Well, we would have two things correct. If shifter, toggles was the right one, then both would be correct, because there's only, only one option in shifter, toggles. So radio, something. Let's go and see if, what we could have a look at. We know it's not the shifter. What is the radio doing then? B. B volume. Ooh. Happening there. Something was weird was happening there. I don't know if that's just a bug in the game or something else entirely, but let's maybe see. Oh, it's because I've got a can of food. <laughs> Never mind. I was also trying to eat at the same time. Never mind. Uh, to the page, Moon Cathedral. Now playing. And I don't know. What? I, I um. Hmm. The kids don't know any better, but I don't know. Growing up in a place like this. Okay. Interesting. Let's continue having a look through. Welcome to the Olympic Peninsula. Enjoy your time here on this beautiful corner of the world. To the north, you'll find the state of Juan de Fuca. The east, Hood Canal. And to the west, the Pacific Ocean. You'll find temperate rainforests, natural lakes and rivers, and endless parklands to explore. Okay. Sleep beneath the stars, hike along our beautiful coastline, and enjoy the magic of the wilderness. Very interesting. But there's definitely something to do with the radio. Uh, we tried uh, switches on, I think. Uh, we could try stays on. Um, I mean, battery drains. I mean, you know, kind of true, or should be, but probably isn't right. Uh, okay, so switches on, toggle, switches off. And then let's look for something else. Uh, steering wheel inverts directions. Wow, that would be crazy. A tire just straight up falls off. Wipers get stuck. Let's try this one. We haven't got many guesses left. I guess we are going to be blind guessing for now. Oh, okay. Switches off. Radio switches off. Something happens. Okay. Let's. Uh, that being said, it could be the wipers. Let me try something else. This is not the best use of my guesses. Switches off. And then let's try every car door closes. It, we'll just do it for the fun of it. Now, if that's still two correct guesses, no, one guess. So, it was something to do with the wipers. Huh. And it wasn't stays off or switches off. Something to do with the radio and the wipers. Ooh, okay, this is actually kind of, kind of cool. But we've only got one guess left now, so I guess it's not that much of a matter. Uh, let's try changing channels. on the road. Uh, I got a hand, I feel that I feel. 
of the Merkab position facing a new and uh, okay. a strong wind blows and uh, their body sort of like dissipate on the wind. Why did you yell that we are Okay. Okay. I think that Bender had to go down and talk to a new like I <laughs> Who the heck is Bender with a new I'll be up here. I can come with you. I'm so confused. Well, that was quite fascinating, I must say. Alright, let's try turning the volume down. Not affecting it. Turning the volume up. Not really affecting it. Ooh, sped up. They definitely just sped up. Alright, let's try that. We may have found it on the last guess. Well, you know, was this a good 12 minutes spent? I don't know, but I actually had fun doing it, so I don't care. <laughs> I really didn't expect to be doing this, but oh, we switched it off. Hmm, let me just see if it toggles, because I, I thought we'd already checked switch off and we only had one correct guess. So let me turn the uh, wipers on. Oh, they slowed down. Sped up. Slowed down. Definitely sped up. Slow. Okay. Well, I'm going to guess that they are... I'm going to go with toggle, because we've tried pretty much everything else. So, radio, toggles, wipers, get stuck, no, I, I feel that it has to be, oh, it, it either switches on and they move fast, or while it stays on they move slow, that's a possibility as well. This is my last guess. If this isn't it, then who knows? Ah, two or four again. Damn it. Maybe it was switches off, but I thought we'd already tried radio switches off. Oh, well. That's it. Can't do any more. Wop, wop. I don't think we've got any more guess. I have no more remaining guess. We'll have to revisit this next time, then. All right. Well, that was a little bit of fun. But we've got a bunch of logbook stuff that we need to check out, so we're going to do that quickly before we decide on a uh, route to go. Lead shielding, private field notes, Dr. A.F. Kingi, and uh, date unknown. This is ridiculous. We've transformed from a team of skilled scientists into day trippers with test tubes and sample kits. We must set up everything on site. We haul out equipment, computers, materials. We have these dreadful mobile laboratory trucks that are so generic in design, they end up helping nobody do their work. The latest fieldwork solution is apparently to have us erect giant walls of lead behind which we are supposed to perform direct observation of the latest anomalies. We must rush out in response to the latest sighting, build these things like we would a snow fort in winter, then hope to get enough readings and data before another EMP shorts everything. It's utterly ridiculous. We don't even have equipment capable of helping us move and deploy all of this other equipment. And, of course, setup takes so long that whatever we hope to catch is often long gone. That, or it has taken far too much of an interest in us for anyone to be able to work safely. I can sympathize. That, that doesn't seem fun. Zone stabilizers. Private field notes. Dr. Mensa, September 15th, 1971. It is reassuring to know we at least have some ability to temper this particularly demented flavor of meteorology that blights our atmosphere. 
The energy demands are truly monstrous, and the infrastructure we have had to construct and reconstruct is an engineering achievement in itself, but we have been successful. We have all but perfected the Zone Stabilizer. Perhaps now we will no longer be quite as subject to its whims. I believe that correctly activating stabilizers will now create gateways, th uh, though it will also precipitate dramatically dangerous zone storms. It is important that nobody uses or modifies these devices without explicit authorization. This map, found in the observation tower ne near Sierra, gives a detailed layout of the stabilizers in the immediate area. Stabilizers? As if the zone could ever be contained. Fair enough. Blown out? It's in tatters. This tire's useful life has come to the most dramatic end. No amount of ceiling will fix this irreparable mess. But perhaps you might be able to scrap it for one or two spare parts. Broken keypad. There has to be some way to open this. This is locked, though that always doesn't... The, though that always doesn't mean you'll need a key. Many simple locks can be forced with small tools, though tougher ones will require heavier equipment. Yeah, we, we, we read that one whilst looking directly at the lock, as I recall. Expanded locker, one of humanity's finest and greatest creations, was surely the shelf. Celebrate these wonderful inventions by arranging several of them in order before neatly fronting, uh, fronting them with some doors and make the whole thing bigger than the previous version you had. Exciting, isn't it? It is. Uh, steering wheels, we got the rally steering wheel, but will it actually make you go faster? Well, that is the question. Uh, we've got not today stamp. Say no to the big stink from those big feet. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, it's Sasquatch, isn't it? Uh, black paint, vogue, alluring, mysterious. Black is eternally popular, always chic, and forever debonair. Cruise through the zone in the most fashionable of colors and make everyone ask, who is she? Burnt orange paint? Is it getting hot in here, or is that just you? Actually, thermal exchange means that your presence will obviously contribute heat to the environment, so it's actually kind of both. Really. And crimson paint. Feeling dramatic? Express yourself with this the, the burnt red of a glowing ruby, or an angry lipstick of a dying sun. <laughs> I like them that way around, actually. <laughs> Fantastic. The default and recommended paint for the job, the, uh, for the first run of the station wagon, and featured in an extensive Family of the Future marketing campaign. Light blue paint. All right, well, that was everything in the logbook, so that wasn't too hard for us, actually. Oh, please. Thank you. I swear, my UI has got its own quirks. Uh, some have requested at length that we sort this out. We have got so much glass. Wow. I had no idea. We don't have much rubber. I mean, I'm not going to remember most of this, uh, except for a few odds and sods, but uh, there are a few things that are obvious. Glass and scrap metal, we just don't have much of at any time. Uh, duct tape, we've got an okay amount. Same as plastic, but mostly everything else, no. Duly noted. Now, there is one other thing that I need to check before we're ready to head out. In terms of our items, we've got the padded parker. Certainly better than nothing. This will provide you with a modicum of protection against the knocks and bumps the zone inflicts, though it could definitely be upgraded. Uh, Lead-lined lab coat. Oh, we're one shy. Damn. Whop, whop. That would have actually been nice. That would have been nice, but oh well. Uh, the padded parker, uh, sure, I, I think this is a decent one. It reduces impact. I may as well. That brings us down quite a lot in terms of the uh, the rubber that we've got. And the personal airbag, this modified parker, offers the best protection you can get against any potential physical harm. We've actually got a lot of things that we can equip. Not bad. Not bad at all. We'll see. We will see. All right, but that'll be in the logbook. Let's go and have a quick gander so we can clear that out. There we go. All done and done. There we are. All right. Uh, quite a few people have asked, can I put paints and tools in here? No. Incubator can't go in there. Uh, no. I strongly suspect it's purely car parts. Uh, the other thing some folks have suggested 
interestingly, is to just scrap these items now that they're really close to being destroyed. And that seems to make a lot of sense. Oh, wow, we got a single piece of scrap metal back, really, for both of those? That was not worth it, actually. I thought you were making sense, but I was apparently mistaken. Huh. Okay, well, I need to make another scrapper then. Uh, sorry, another impact hammer. But the, the argument was that you get a decent bit back from from uh, scrapping them, or potentially. You can get anything from, I think someone said, from 30% up to 90% back, which is very, very tempting. So let's go ahead and craft that. We don't need thermosap crystals for you. Uh, everything else seems okay. That's, uh, why did I make another one of these? It was an impact hammer. I've got two spares. You know what, though? Considering it's the tool that I use the most of, maybe having two spares is okay. But the damage? Oh, well. There we go. Now we're okay. <laughs> Shh. It's one of those days. All right. Okay. The last things we got to do, we've got to scrap the stuff out here. There we go. And then quickly take apart the car. Uh, right, what we got? Just steel panels. Nothing much that we need to worry about. I mean, if any of this was in... Was there anything in there? Oh, there was. Okay, fair enough. Uh, if there was any... Uh, uh, sorry, off-road tires or anything like that, then we would absolutely liberate those. Uh, assuming I had uh, the materials and the liberator to hand. I don't have the materials, but I might have a spare liberator. I don't know. Uh, but, no. This is this is a uh, fairly standard wreck. Nothing that we really need to worry about here. There we are. And take the spare tire off as well. Oh, I mean, I might as well. I'm literally right here. This is just free equipment. It would be silly not to take it. Hello? Brandy Dumpster is, is not not in the mood right now. Fair enough. You've had a busy day. Let's just get all that sorted. And then we'll pop this in here. Alright then. I think that's about everything. We're now ready to go. Took us a little while, but we got there in the end. There we are. Okay, where are we headed off to then? Oh my. Extreme conditions. Very extreme. Now, this is a highway by the looks of it. We can just go straight there and on to another place. Or we can go around. I don't know how wise that would be. However, uh, are these dead ends or something? They're, they're unknown. Completely unknown. I can scan. Oh. Apparently, I've got to get over there. But what if I want to go over here? Uh, have I scanned this location? Is it even possible to go there? It doesn't look like it, honestly. I've got one... Oh, I've got one scanner charge, so I can just go ahead and use that first, I guess, and then plan a route. Uh, that... Oh, no, that does say dead end at this location. No stable exits. Dead end. Well, how would you get there, then? Oh, I would have to go through here to get there. Mm, maybe not. No stable exits. Extreme conditions. There's a little bit of uh, unstable energy there, though. I mean, the, the game says it's a dead end. Is there no gate? Would I not be able to build up energy on the route and then take it, perhaps? I mean, there's, there's energy there. Uh, 2k li oh no it says here 2k lim for gateway okay well uh, fair enough i guess we're not going to be doing that instead we can go out in one of these directions we could go over here there's perpetual stability there and we need to be checking out things in that direction anyhow i wouldn't mind going over there we've already been to this location so i don't think that's necessary uh we know that there is an exit here and it looks like it goes all the way over there it might might there be an exit in this direction at all? I don't know. Uh, kind of tempted, because it looks like there's a bridge there. 
Sure. Let's go ahead and scan this one. Right. Zero scanner charges. Destination planned. Uh, select destination. That requires one scanner charge. These do have gateways in them. That one has a gateway. No stable exits. Yeah, there's no exit over there, but this one perhaps does link up. Right, this one's got heavy fog. It's not got very much power, though, which isn't great. Um, well, we're not going to be there for too long, since it's not uh, perpetually stable. We're just going to be exploring a little bit. That being said, we do have a lot of time on the clock, it seems, before the storm starts getting unhappy with us. Uh, there's no... Well, very few wrecks, I would say. Oh, resource density. Okay, so very little resource. But we do have a decent vehicle density, decent fuel density, low building density. It's not amazing, but, you know, that's fine. Atmospheric shifts are a little bit higher than usual. There's one anomaly that isn't recognized and one wreck that isn't recognized, but there are other investigators here. Also, Abandoned Squires, both of which I would like to check out simply because I might be able to get some more armoured pieces, assuming that I have the necessary components, which I don't just yet, but uh, we might be lucky and find some out and about. Yeah, we, we definitely need to get hold of another Liberator, I think. All right, we've got our, got our journey planned. I left you running the whole time, my bad. Let me uh, refuel you. While I was sorting out all of the shenanigans with the quirk. I left the engine running. Right, okay. And we're off. Alright. Let's see if red makes us go faster. If it does... We're fine, because we've got the rally wheel. Uh, now, what I wouldn't mind is having all of the controls on this, like a proper Formula One car. That would be amazing. Though, I really wouldn't want the car to be a Formula One car, because... A, it, that just really wouldn't work off-road, but B, also I would crash and die. Neither outcome great for me. Alright, it's going to be 5am, so coming up to uh, sunrise maybe? I don't actually know what time of the year it is. So, we'll see. We might actually be here while it's becoming light. I'll probably still do some gamma adjustment anyway though. Because Oh, no, never mind. Never mind, just heavy fog. Fair enough. Right, where are we going first then? Uh, now, whilst we're here... Starting to take any of these is probably going to cause some issues. So, I'm thinking, let's just do a trip straight up there. Across, hit these buildings, then down, up, down. We'll see what we can do. Uh, let's go. That being said, not perpetually stable. So, you know what? Sure. We're just going to go out there. We're going to we're going to make this one a uh, smash and grab. The needs different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway. It You'll does. have to feed anchors to the arc device until it's satisfied, and she'll tell you how many she needs at any given time. Right here. I want that plasma, so we're just going to park by here. Also, I want the radio on. There's three plasma containers here. I greatly approve. Number one. Like us. What? Oh, that'll be uh, Tobias and Francis. Oh, damn it. Go ahead. Your nits are like us in a way. Those of okay. us who chose Ow. to stay behind, we are as discarded and forgotten as they are. That is if I quite chose deep. to stay, you mean actively defying government orders to evacuate? Then yes. You remember how we went without electricity for four months to dodge the clearing crews? <sighs> There's, like, what? Only a hundred of us left. What happens if I touch this? Frankly, I'm surprised zoom, so zoom. Of us were no, to move no, just lots of radiation. Okay, fair enough. Oh, speak for yourself. What was I expecting? I'm here for the hunt. Hey, even better now. There's no one to get in our way. Fair enough. Next time, 
don't go and rub the radioactive thing on my face. Ooh, that is quite bright. Survive. Oh, damn it. Hey, driver, not to be a downer or nothing, but uh, I'm wondering what we do if you can't find a way out of the zone. They got themselves uh, over the wall. They'll find a way to survive here like the rest of us. Or not. Won't be my problem at that point. I'd hardly call what we're doing here surviving. Poppy, oh, uh, do you have to be so hey, mean? Both of you always going on and on about putting up with this, ensuring that. There's more to life than that, you know. You, for example, Arpy, you're brilliant. You controlled fundamental forces of nature with your fingertips. Both of you did. <sighs> Slow down there, kid. Yeah, we were scientists, not superheroes. Oh, yeah, I mean, look, hey, to someone who was all thumbs when it came to science, they're one and the same. I just don't understand why you're wasting away here, burrowed away in the zone. Both of you, you're sitting on so much lost potential. Potential is a carrot on a stick for the young. An illusion to keep mm -hmm. you forging on when you should have given up I think we've seen these ago. before, but let's check. Nothing had more potential than limb technology. Yeah, and we look have. what it did to the Olympic Peninsula. What I did. Look around. We're stuck here. For good. All we can do is survive. Everything else is moot. I forgot what a charmer you are, Oppie. An absolute living ray of sunshine and optimism. I mean, Oppie does seem to really feel that she's to blame for the peninsula. And maybe so, as the mother of Limtech, if I, if I remember the uh, claim correctly. If Limtech is responsible for all of this, and it does seem to hint that it is, Oppie feels a, a burden of responsibility for that. Still, I mean, you know, I, I, I feel that maybe she's been extra hard on herself. Or, or perhaps I just don't see the direct connection to her responsibility that she sees. Okay, time to see what this does. Okay. I'd like everything in here, please. And everything in here, please. Please stop following me around there. And everything in here. Can I turn this off? No, no, pick it back up. I want to unlight. There we go. Perfect. That actually works quite well. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, actually, I wanted to move that across, not the other way around. Also, let's turn the uh, volume up. We had it quite low from the uh, garage. Keep your eye out for potential things off to the side, especially R directs. Are you not sure what you are? No, you're just uh, you just lights. No, you are. Yeah, you're a pneumatic deposit box. I'll take it. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. What have we got over there? Something that probably hot dust, I'm guessing. Yeah, that would be my guess. I probably shouldn't leave the lights on right now. Not in this fog. I don't think I really need them. And they're draining the battery after all. Alright, let's continue on. We've got some uh, plasma in that direction. Hopefully it's quite clear for you, though. I'm not 100% that it is, given the fog, but, uh, I mean, at, after a certain point, your guess is as good as mine how much uh, YouTube is going to mess stuff up when it comes to the encoding. And pop. There we go. Uh, what do we got down there? Is that something? It really does look like it. Oh, right, okay, yeah, it, it is straight up just radiation. Wouldn't it be great if I had some sort of radiation suit right now? Well, if nothing else, we've managed to pick up quite a few uh, few uh, bits of plasma here. That I am extremely happy with. This is a reasonably high radiation area, though. Alright, let's wait for that to pass by, and we're going to cross over. Here we come. 
Thank you. And let's go. No can opening my car today, please, and indeed, thank you. Okay, we've got a couple of things up here. Some plasma off to the left. Some... Oh, okay, there's lots of things. Wow, okay. Why is so much stuff in one place? Alright. Uh, I'm not sure what to make of this, but I'm not entirely certain I like it. I can almost promise you the second I pull up that... Uh, that anchor, this place is going to go nuts. So how about we don't until I'm away from this area. I want the plasma though. That plasma is important for a lot of reasons. Please move. Thank you. Okay, move. And again. Pop. Nice and easy. There we go. Alright, we're going to drive past the... Uh, just uh, up a bit past the anchor before I collect it. Because I've got a horrible feeling that the moment I collect it, what will happen is the... Uh, there'll be a new can opener right under the car. Which I really would rather avoid. Also, we're not going to touch the zoom zoom. Well, we're going to try to avoid it anyway. Uh, what have we got up ahead? We've got a tunnel. Let's park here. Alright. Next spot is here. And it looks like we might have to go underground a little bit. I'm going to need two of these to fully charge. I believe this place needs two... Uh, two anchors worth of energy to open the gate. Fingers crossed. This doesn't go horribly wrong for me. Let's go. And that may well accelerate the oncoming storm. So, are you anything I can have a look at? No, you're not. I've already seen you. Right, we don't want to be here anymore. Oh, we've actually got enough to open the gate already. Huh. Maybe it was only one that I needed. Maybe I was looking at a couple of others that needed uh, two. Either way, it should be fine. I, I absolutely need the lights now. Go. This feels so much more eerie with that music on for some reason. No idea why, but going through that tunnel just then was... Ooh. Give me the heebie-jeebies. Anything much up here? There's a couple of buildings, but... How are we going to get over to that? Uh, we'll go forward a little bit more. But I think, ultimately, we're going to have to turn here. Is this a... a big dance? Okay, not bad. Let's check you out. May as well refuel while I'm here. Quick refuel. There's not much fuel in this pump. As long as it can finish it off. Pop it back. That way we avoid any explosions. Grab what we can. Not friendly dumpster. My god. Uh, okay. Thank you. That was a lot of gubbins. Thank you. I can't grab it. I'm going to have to hoover it up. That'll do. Thank you very much, friendly dumpster. You. Anything else in here that I want? Anything out here that I would like? There's a car. Probably not too much in there. I don't want to linger much longer than this. Than I have to. Alright. I think that was a good enough haul. Drop all of this off. 
I'm so sorry. You've probably been listening to that little alarm going for a little while. I was so invested in the game, and I've got noise-canceling headphones. Ah, uh, that is so annoying. <laughs> Hopefully, my noise cancellation may have stripped some of that out. But if not, yeah, uh, I can only offer my sincerest apology. <laughs> uh, right, we've got a little house down here. We'll cut over and go through uh, off uh, the road here, I think. May as well check the, the house. We're just going to do a quick once round. I don't think we can get inside this one. Right, there we go. Right. Okay, nothing too much in there. Uh, let's see how these off-road tires do for us. The bumper will hopefully be able to handle the trees quite well. Uh, and it is, in fact, doing very, very well. Hello there, little wreck. Nothing much, I don't think, but we'll see. Hello there. Let's not have any uh, shenanigans, shall we? Right, I'm going to want to go down around here and then probably over to that. If I park right there, then I should be good. Pull the brake, please. Oh, my lord. Okay, let's get back up onto that hill. <laughs> Because I worry that I am in the path of the uh, tin opener. Can opener, rather. I mean, a can opener would open tins as well, wouldn't it? What have we got over here? We've got a truck. Oh, I wish. But I can't, so I'm just going to have to scrap you. This is where I go back and I find that the uh, tyres have got flats. And I hate myself. But it's not like I've got a Liberator anyway, so I can't grab this stuff regardless. Anything around here? No. Okay. Now then. Come with me. This is likely going to start making things a bit rough here. But we've got our gate marked. So everything I need is where I need it. Let's go down here. Okay. Let's just check out that car a second. Oh, good lord. What the heck was that? Uh... Okay. It just folded space and brought me another anchor. Am I okay with this? Yes. Also, no. I mean, am I okay with it randomly adding more stuff right in front of me? Probably shouldn't be. And yet, here I am, being exactly okay with it. Okay, lots of unhappiness here now. Uh, gonna have to try and get through this. It's gonna be a bit rough. Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. It, it was horrible. I had to, though. I needed to go... Oh, okay. Shh, 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 shh. It's alright. We're through the worst of it. It's okay. Like, turn the, the wipers off. It's okay. Wipers can't get rid of fog, sadly. It'd be amazing if they could. Maybe anomalous wipers could. I really want that plasma. So we're just going to park up here. I think we just passed a tourist. Let me uh, snip in here. Hello. Needed to let the tower decide to go for me. And it should be charging again. Yep, there we are. go, grab a little bit of everything. Not bad so far, I must say. Actually reasonably happy with it. Got a huge amount of plasma. Right. Off we go. 
haven't seen any of the really nice trucks. And I was kind of hoping I would by going off-road like this. Oh. I said nice trucks. Also, you're not a truck. I realize that may be hard to hear. You know what? If you want to aspire to be a truck, you go for it, little wreck. Don't let anyone tell you you're not a truck. I'm so glad that we didn't just face first into that can opener, because there was every possibility of that happening there. Every possibility. But this is about where we need to be. From here, we can activate that gateway. Right, there's plasma over yonder, and there's a lot of radiation around me. Still, I'm going for the plasma. Look, sometimes you may look at a situation and think, you've got about as much chance as a rat in a room full of cats, but you've got to go after the cheese anyway. There we go. The fog is making it so hard to discern whether something is a wreck or just a rock. Alright, let's get you in here. We have gotten a good bit of, of energy from all of this. A really nice collection. How much are we up to now? We are up to 4.4. I'm almost... If there were more things for me to actually visit here, I'd go for it. But I don't think there are. I have... I well, could go up there, maybe, and then rush down towards the gateway, but... No. Looking at the time, let's, let's make this one an actual proper drive. Where we actually get out in a reasonable time. This will be one of the first episodes where it doesn't end up being, like, an hour and a half. Oh, man, I want to see what that is. Damn it. And I can't see in my rear view because of the fog. Sodding fog! Oh well. I promise, though, we would only be ultra thorough in perpetual stability. I'm not about to break my promise. I will break, though. We will absolutely break. I wonder what the anomaly I haven't seen is, though. That I would like to know. Wow, that, that really did descend on us fast, didn't it? In a non-perpetual stability zone, the storm really doesn't waste any time. It is not playing about. Well, here we go. Well, there we are. Not at all bad. And we are back. Time to spare. No, interesting Park thing about here. those anchor plugs. They use limb technology to stake down pockets of stability in an area. Basically, they delay how quickly you're turned into Swiss cheese out there. Nice. I like not being turned into Swiss cheese. Hello. Morse code. All right. Commenters, this is the moment you've been waiting for. You can pause this video and have Wikipedia up on the other screen. And you don't even need to admit to using Wikipedia. You can just pretend that you just have memorized Morse code. I wouldn't know the difference, but you can tell me what this says, and I will be amazed. Have at it. Uh, as for the energy we just bought back, you know what, we've got a couple of minutes, so let's go ahead and spend it. There's a couple of bits that I know I want right away. Side rack, yes. Straight up going to get that on there. And then we are going to have a couple of ways of storing power. Uh, I wouldn't mind because I get a second one. Can I afford a second one? Can we get... Uh, I say a second one, but uh, what I mean to say is a fourth one. We could, with the steel sheets, we could also get a roof rack. Okay, the roof rack there, though, requires unstable energy. Much sadness. But all right. That is a compelling, very compelling option. The hand vac. 
I think we have to take the hand back. Not taking that is... I think People are getting very, very itchy about the fact that we can't make hand backs yet. And I, I understand where they're coming from, frankly. Uh, that being said, I wouldn't mind an extra locker. We didn't get much in that run. It was mostly energy we got. But some runs will be like that. There we go. We can now make hand vax. Rejoice. Uh, side battery, hydro generator. I, th I think I'm fine with the mini turbine, honestly. The larger fuel tank. That is tempting. Simply because it feels like it would allow us a fair bit more protection out on the road. I would love to get the armored bumper. I would really love to get the armored bumper. Because uh, then I could go for radiation... Uh, the... Sorry, um... Oh no, we don't don't need radiation on uh, protection. Maybe insulation, uh, insulated panel on the on the bonnet. If, as I mentioned, the uh, the tooltip is correct and it spreads the nearby components, that would be a very nice thing to have on the front of the car. Some extra radi uh, protection from electricity. I don't think we need the flare gun. Insulated headlamps might be okay, but uh, again, I don't really think so. The electrician's kit. An improvised but perfectly serviceable meter and analysis tool. This will help in the diagnosis and repair of most electronic issues. I think... Would we use that to break through the keypad? Maybe? It's a possibility. But I don't think we're going to go for that one. Uh, we can't afford the plasma charger, sadly. No, ultimately I think we're going to go with the steel sheets and get the extra rack there. Is the engine running? It is. I didn't turn it off. I'm an idiot. There we go. My bad. Yeah. Let's go ahead and grab the rack. Right, so, two steel plates. Okay, we've got those in the car, don't we? We don't. But we do have the pearl. Let me drop things off in here first. And the gear can go across here. And then the pearl can go in there. And there's the steel plates. So many batteries! My god! How did it... I don't even... Ooh, an odd decal. I like it. I have to just move these over manually, unfortunately. I drop all that off. Let's go pop the odd decal over here. Now, technically, I said we were only going to go without the stars for one trip. However, that, that was a bit scarcely a trip, really, was it? I think we need to give the Sasquatch a little bit more time to potentially grow on us. That's only fair. Now we should have the metal plates we need. Yes, indeed we do. There we go. Marvelous. All right, nice big upgrade there. Pop you down. At uh, this point, I would like to place these at either side, I think. So that my energy generation is opposite one another. And then, I, I guess, an extra storage? There's not really any reason not to. Sure, let's go and do that. Uh, side storage room, yeah. Okay. 
All right. So one could be tools and the other could be like repair gear or one could be repair gear the other one could just be very quick storage i think very quick storage sounds okay now the nice thing about that drive is it's brought us back with all of these things ready to go however in the interest of not making this like over an hour when i finally got back at a reasonable time we're going to wrap up this episode there. A very, very quick one. It was a nice little jaunt out into the zone. On our return, let's have a look at... Oh, okay, so that... Ah, of course, because we've just been there and we've re removed the stability, this place is now crazy bad. Right. But we can see these various locations. Uh, yeah, the stability is moving around. So some are dead end, some are not. Some have been scanned, some have not. All right, I kind of like that. We could always check out the blistering woods over here, go down and along the the highway, but I think the next place that we're going to go to has to be moving in this direction. We want to start moving towards story progression. Uh, that was a nice little jaunt there. Uh, if I wanted to go there, I think I would need to go up here and across. So I don't. Oh, maybe I could go through here. Possible. Uh, yeah, we might we might try that. Let me know what you'd rather us do, whether you want us to go to the uh, level 2 or go through uh, one of the ones. If we go for this one, then it'll probably be a two-trip journey. And since we're more or less ready to just head out straight away, I think that actually might be pretty cool. We'd probably fit all of that into one episode, uh, the zone willing. But that is going to be it for us today. I hope you enjoyed this one, although it is a little bit shorter than normal. That was a bit of a learning experience for me. Honestly, I was expecting the storm to come running the moment I started to collect the the anchors. And it seems that whilst certainly once I activated the gate, the, the storm was practically on top of me, maybe I have a little bit more time to play around uh, in, in those areas. At least not be as quick to grab the energy that being said let me know if you actually enjoyed it and you would like to see more just you know smash and grab uh trips like that where we just go for the energy and anything between us and the energy as opportunity presents itself and then get on to the next zone certainly on the longer runs that might actually be the uh the uh, our default if we want to get through it in any reasonable amount of episodes but regardless i hope you enjoyed i look forward to your feedback in the comments and as always do leave a like if you like sub if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one take care breaches.